scavenger's daughter. The scavenger's daughter is one device that may look harmless at first, but if you thought this, you'd be very mistaken. The scavenger's daughter, also named Skevington's Iron. The name comes from Lieutenant Sir Leonard Skeffington, who served under King Henry VIII. It was named after him because Skeffington had standardized this particular means of torture. The scavenger's daughter is an extremely simple and brutal device. The only material used in this one is an iron band hinged at one side and fitted with an adjustable lock. So you'd always be wondering if you'd be its next victim. If you are a criminal, that is. The simple design worked by making the prisoner kneel with his knees on his chin. He would then be surrounded by the hoop with nowhere to move, forced, sometimes crushed in the fetal position. Imagine the pain of being stuck in an uncomfortable position for an extended period of time. How long would you last? Most only take about an hour and a half. Some symptoms of being in this device include cracked ribs, severe cramping, collapsed lungs, and bursting capillaries causing blood to flow from any opening. One particularly gruesome story tells of a victim who was forced into the device and blood burst from his hands and feet. This method went on to evolve into another device called the stork one that would allow the victim to be in place for longer. Certainly, you would not want to face the scavenger's daughter.